does the world need a place like Skatopia? Well, why the fuck not? My God. What, what Skatopia is, it's a place for people to feel freedom, to get away from their fucking useless jobs, their fucking maniacal fucking money schedule, where they have to fucking constantly fucking be obedient to the man so he can fucking control their lives 90% of the time. Freedom is hard to find. I mean, it's just crazy. Everything gets wild. It's the best place on earth. I've never had more fun than I've ever had at this place. You can do whatever you want. Ranch, bro. It's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever you want to do. Anarchy, that's what it is out here. It's total freedom. It's like we make our own rules. It's just like normal, regular fucking golden rule shit. Be kind, respect, love, skate, have fun. Since Bruce's accident, he's probably actually gotten a lot more mellow than he used to be. Pretty calm, cool, and collected. Brandon expects that Skatopia will ultimately become his, but I don't think Bruce will ever let him take it over totally as long as Bruce is here. It's so cute to make sense. I like making sense. Rick! Come on, Pierre, I need you. Hey, put that one up back up here. Why don't you go up on the hill and get the wheelbarrow and a shovel? These guys are gonna move all this wood. All right, you see this right here? It needs to be covered with some gravel. That's so much better with a rake, a hard rake. Okay, so you're interviewing me. All right. My name is Bruce Martin, B-R-E-W-C-E-M-A-R-T-I-N. I own Skatopia. We're at Skatopia in Meigs County, also known as Megzico, Ohio, and this is my home. Get it. Get it, Sinbad. I'm getting old waiting. Come on, get it. The Bowl Bash is a way to bring a lot of people together that have similar ideas. So at times, it can bring financial success. Empty your pockets. Shake down. Where we could build a new bowl, work on the roads, do anything that we may need to do. But the real reason for Bowl Bash is skateboarding, freedom, music, sex, fun. Normally, when people come to Skatopia, I bring them in here to the museum. I, I, I can't tell you how much good shit there is here. Epic shit. This is the board I was skating when I got sponsored by Dogtown and went pro. In 1990, my mom bought this at a yard sale. This was my first wooden board. This is me riding that board. Right here, I was showing you. It was a great one. That's my mom. That's my mom skating. My mom is epic also known as the old butt steak or big mama, depending on which day you see her. And I can't say nothing but great shit about my mom, so. This is the ramp that was in my mom's basement. From my perspective, putting that tiny little ramp in my basement uh, didn't mean a whole lot at the time. And, but he skated there and then he moved south, built a ramp, neighbors threw him out, and then he came back built a really big ramp. They decided they didn't want him there anymore. You know, I wouldn't rent to him. 
I, I mean, you know, I wouldn't rent to him. And uh, it was at that moment that somehow he, be, he became aware of this property. He said it was a big decision for him. He labored about it for a long time. Uh, but then he knew he wasn't going to get thrown out. You know, so here he is. <laughs> I can't explain why it's so important to him. I can just tell you that it is. I can just tell you that. This is me skateboarding naked with only three wheels on my skateboard. So much stuff here. There's Brandon skating at the Lula Bowl. Everybody asked me, what was it like growing up with Bruce Martin, you know? What was it like growing up at Skatopia and stuff like that? It was normal for me, you know? So there's no real outside perspective until I got into my mid-teens. And then I started to recognize, you know, like how people were treating him with a certain type of um, reverence and respect. Brandon is completely different than me. And he is doing things that I never would have done anyway for Skatopia. All right, I'll eat some food. Get some food. I do all the graphic design. I do all the online work, things like that. I do the electrical work. Skatopia to me is a canvas for your imagination. It's not just for skateboarding, you know? But I would like to get more towards educational events and things like that. I'd like to have a library and get some agriculture going. This is the important part. I have to go pull the tractor out and pay him. <laughs> right. No, I try to stay out of my dad's way because he tends to be a one-track guy, you know, gets on it and just goes like a bulldozer, you know? I'm going to keep building on Skatopia and making it bigger and better and crazier so people can come here and have fun. When you go upstairs, that's the original bowl. So this, was, this shallow end is on a deck, and then we built the full pipe. And the full pipe, there was a jump. And when B Tony Hawk and Bam came here, and Bam took him about 20 tries, and he finally made it. Tony Hawk did it first try, but he landed clear at the bottom. He was a great skater, and he's actually a cool guy. We saved the best for last, Skatopia, the skateboarding mecca. Skatopia's in Tony Hawk's video game, and I've never played the game, and I never will, I don't care. It was really interesting playing that level when I was a kid, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I actually live here, you know, and it's like, this isn't actually what it's like, but it's pretty fucking awesome, you know? And it kind of built our fame in that way, which was really good. What happened here? I broke my hand. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this picture. Some people came here and they were like, we're just looking for a place to live. Took him over there to the Pabst house, which is, which is our community house. And then I was getting ready to walk out and I looked on the counter, there was a gun. And if I would have looked really close at it, I would have noticed it was a BB gun. I got pissed and then I punched him and then that's what broke my hand. Seven screws in a plate. Yeah, I've had some trouble with, with violence. Violence has been a problem in my life, but I'm trying to get away from it. That, that's one thing that I'm really trying to get away from. I really need to start meditating. That fucking head injury really unfocused me. Yeah, so. This is the piece that's been taken out of my head three times. There it is. You can see the picture. There's my brain. I suffered an injury that would have killed 98% of all people the day it happened. Yeah, actually, when my dad first got injured, I was in the shop, in the screen print shop here. And, um, you know, that was 10 years ago. Me and him actually had an argument beforehand, and I was very vitriolic with him, you could say, you know, very vicious. 
And all I could think about was like, you know, I just told my dad all this crazy shit. And it was around Father's Day too at that time. But we found out it was a tire that exploded in his face. And what caused most of the damage was him actually hitting the, the car lift above him. So his head actually hit the car lift and it collapsed his left frontal lobe and damaged his left frontal neocortex and his limbic system. So Bruce was extremely well informed and educated. He could talk to anybody about almost anything. It kind of blew me away. He's lost a lot of that since the accident. I missed that, by the way, some of it. Yeah. Well, once he regained consciousness, you know, it was a uh, extreme relief. And he was really funny when he came to. He kept, uh, you know, just talking about poop and just, I don't know, he does these weird things, like these words get locked in his head from that accident. And he was just smiling and being happy. It was just really strange, like to see someone go through that and then they come out smiling, like, yeah, I got this shit, I'm going, you know? <laughs> well, he's become a little more juvenile and uh, more impulsive. Hey, give us one more guy. Get these eight uh, very bad uh, short-term memory. I think when you spoke to Brandon, you probably noticed that he's a little more intellectual and, and has more focus and etc. And uh, he evolved into that because of that injury. It definitely made me have to rethink my overall goals. Before the accident, I was, you know, just party, party, party. And then after the accident, that really kicked me in the butt and made me really like reanalyze what was going oh, on. Oh, the snatchers. Look at you guys pooping for free. Look at Molly. Told you, the poop, right? <laughs> Where's the posters? Be careful, they might slide out the bottom. Well, I've got Iron Maiden. There's Iron Maiden ones. Yeah, I so, know. So he's getting one. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, uh, Brandon. Yep. I got, I'm loading shit up. I can see that, Dad. <laughs> he's funny. Ever since my head injury, you know, that, that really affected me. Really affected me. I couldn't skate for two years after the head injury. I still, if I look at you like that, you have four eyes, two noses, two hands, two mouths. But it used to be two people about 20 feet apart, and they slowly got closer together. So it's, it's still getting better. There you go. Let's go, Diggolo. You know, like 10 a.m. Homebrewed Skatopia lifestyle, man. Yeah. Skatopia. Y'all better be fucking killing Jesus over there, motherfuckers. Burn your car and donate it, motherfuckers. Kill. Bowl bash, you know, it goes up and down between about 200 to maybe like 800 people. You know, it's just an ebb and flow. You never know. I've been coming for a couple of years now, and so it's always been about the same. Maybe sometimes it's hit or miss, you know? I don't know. I have a great time every time I'm Yeah, I, you know what? We just kind of skateboard and don't even pay attention, man. We just... Bullshit and party and bullshit and party. It is not about anything but fucking realism. Hit or die. Don't do drugs. Actually do. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm a third. Like the He's freedom to do almost player. anything I want. <laughs> like just have as much I fun as I want. I want to shoot off guns with my friends. <laughs> You're not saying that. I wanted to just get wasted. Yeah, it's it's party. Up. This is one big party. Cheers, dog. Skatopia! Like when I think about Skatopia, I just think about like a fun time. With your and friends. With my, yeah, with my friends, and then I get to skate, and like no one's judging me, and like I just love it here. Like I come here every year. Hey, big mama, look at this. This is the lady that fucking made it all possible, right here. Yeah. Bruce usually tries to glorify me in these events. This is my mother. It's her responsibility that all this occurred. Well, that is absolutely not true. I fought this. I lost that battle. <laughs> so uh, they're going to learn when they learn, and maybe I'm going to learn when I learn. I'm always astounded that I enjoy it as much as I do. 
amazing how different the skating styles can be. Brandon skates as if he's a ballet dancer almost. He's just graceful and flowing. And Bruce is an intense skater. He's like, he's like driven and he goes up and he does it and he does it. And he's, he's very intense, which fits his personality. The accident definitely pushed me to stay home. Um, I had planned on continuing in the skateboarding circuit for a lot longer, you know, so I wanted to go out, skate contest, uh, you know, take it to a higher level with my expansion. I wanted to travel the world a little bit more, but I didn't know what was going to happen, whether he was going to be capable of actually taking the farm over and running it again. I, I had to really step it up and learn all the ins and outs really quickly, which wasn't too hard because I had already been raised in that environment, in this environment. So um, when I first started to take over and kind of put down a few general guidelines for how we should uh, have some common sense around here, uh, a lot of people had a lot of resistance to that, especially the people who just wanted to come to use it as a means of like party, you know, and they just, they weren't really into it. I started putting a lot, a lot of posts, a lot of blogs out, changing the website up, and uh, a lot of people don't come back because of that. But the benefit of that is that I've had a lot of better people come in, a lot of better uh, people who actually want to come for the right reasons instead of just coming to get their rocks off, you know? And it's not like I'm against partying. It's like, yeah, come have fun, but let's celebrate some hard work rather than just doing it on the whims of desire and pleasure. So you kind of earn that, you know? It's pretty simple. He's, he's on one path, I'm on one path. We're just going. It's like we're side by side, you know? Brandon expects that Skatopia will ultimately become his. I don't think Bruce will ever let him take it over totally. As long as Bruce is here, you've seen the personality enough to know that's not going to happen. But they do work together, and sometimes they don't work well, and sometimes they do, you know. But uh, they love each other dearly and deeply, and yeah. Oh, when you pack for Skatopia, bring plenty of socks and plenty of drugs and alcohol. You're fucking filming me do this, dude. <laughs> hey, camera guy, show me your boob. We all came Fox. from Young South Ohio. I like the fact oh, that you don't have to worry about what the person next to you is going to do. Yeah. yeah. It's just you have free will to be yourself and do what you want. Because everybody is so welcoming and so nice, and like you could just walk down the road and Somebody will like just greet you, you're automatically friends. You can be white, black, purple, undecisive, misunderstood. It don't know fucking matter who you are. Have you seen my parents? That your dad just went down to the print shop. Thank you. Yeah, my mom used to bring me up here when I was younger, but when it got dark time, it was time. Like she took me home because you know, stuff happens at dark time that no little kid should see. I'm just nibbling on a little mushroom stone. Yeah. Those lights are cool. <laughs> oh, really cool. Well, it's 12 foot nine. It's called the Punisher. I'll, I'll skate it tonight a little bit. Um, a lot of people are scared of it. It basically is the heart of Skatopia. We were burning cars and shit the first time we were here. Some crazy shit out here, man. I haven't returned in five years. I didn't realize how long it had been. And yes, things change. A lot of the old, I mean, you show up a couple years later, it's like, yeah, this dude's dead, this dude's dead. You know, it's a, it's a hard life living out here, like, the way we do. <laughs> this is my sixth year coming. And as the years have gotten more and more, it's just slowly died down. But this year is actually getting a lot bigger than what it was last year, so I'm hoping they start building it back up again like they did. When I first started coming, there was more cars that were on that fire pit. That would never be just an empty fire pit. Grab it. Happy birthday, Mel Senior. Happy birthday, Mel Hager. Bruce is dumping gas on right now.
a lot of these people come from like cities and shit and can't do anything in a city in a suburb. Can't light a fire, can't blow something up. But that's not what uh, all it is. It's a very peaceful place. It's building, you know? Build, destroy, repeat. Yeah, sometimes we have different ideas. Um, the main thing is, is that I'm very patient, you know, so I work around him the best as possible. So the real change won't happen until I actually own the place. So I'm just working around until I can get into that position. But, you know, I think I'll hold the bull bash and keep it a tradition because that's what everybody likes and that's what we've been doing for so long. But I would like to bring in some different types of mindsets and some educational events and things like that. Brandon has lived in a way that the average person has not lived and therefore may not ever fit into any kind of a standardized job. So to see them together uh, evolving here, I, I think it's a wonderful thing. So they've taught me something about real education and they've taught me something about alternative lifestyles and lightening up the load a little and uh, yeah I don't know if I answered your question or not <laughs> my whole life is a roller coaster that is how you go you go fast you go slow you go fast you go slow you go around a tight corner you beep up it's just about freedom that's what's that's what this is all about being happy and being free period that's what skateboarding's about. We don't need, we don't need gross shit. We need fun shit. Cut. Poop. This is done by my friend John. He was diabetic and he couldn't get a boner and keep it. He started dating a nurse. She got him on Viagra. The next thing you know, he was dead. Bummer.